Hello folks, this is Vivs from Slide Nerd. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about using the last but not the least of our tools, IntelliJ IDEA, which is a product from JetBrains. It's another IDE just like NetBeans and Eclipse. It al allows you to create Java programs effortlessly. We're gonna download this, install it, and check it out. So, simple, you go to JetBrains.com, IDEA, download. You have two versions, Ultimate Edition, as the name suggests, is a paid version and the community which is a free one, of course we go for free stuff always, so click download now. So I'm gonna start downloading, I already have downloaded it, so I'm gonna cancel this. So on my desktop, there's the setup file which I downloaded from the internet, I'm gonna double click. It's gonna install just like NetBeans did, click next, next install now run IntelliJ click finish no I don't have a previous version so at this point it's gonna directly ask me about the project stuff I'm gonna say create new project it's gonna present me a bunch of options you guys are probably gonna be confused after seeing this I'm gonna take Java module in this on the left side on the right side I'm gonna name it say hi project location it's giving me some location idea projects now here's the thing the JDK is not linked with this software yet you need to link the JDK so that your program runs click new JDK it is in C for me program files Java JDK click OK it's linked at this point click next finish so now it's creating the project which I just said the same way on the left side I have the project on the right side I'll have the files like NetBeans and Eclipse I'm gonna go on this source there is no Java file in this so far I'll click on the source folder I'll click new Java class I'll say hi from me probably click OK so at this point just like NetBeans you have a file on the right side but unlike writing public if you see if you start writing public static void main you'll see public then static but there's an even better shortcut than this and I'll show you that I'll remove all this just write P S V M and press tab there you see main function created now we want to write system dot out dot print and again you can go ahead write system dot out dot print stuff but I'll do something nice over here I'll write s out press tab you see print ln statement is there just need to open the double quotes and write hi inside as you can see this is the simplest of all the three tools but it's not as much used as NetBeans and stuff I'm gonna click file I'm gonna say save all I'm gonna right click on this file on the left side run so at this point it's building something so as you can see hi came out in the window at the bottom in the output screen just like NetBeans and Eclipse I hope you guys got something out of this I have covered all possible tools probably if you have something else I mean more tools to cover you can definitely ping me on YouTube and I'll make a video on that keep watching guys subscribe to my channel see you later have a nice day